Hey you guys, today I want to talk to you about five nut woodworking tools that you need in your woodworking shop. Now I split those into two categories. The first three is more fun, very useful things that I think you would really enjoy and use in your shop. And the last two are serious things, things that you should have in your shop and is non-negotiable. You have a woodworking shop, you need to have these items. So let's start with the first one. The first ones are this eyeglasses, lens, whatever, cleaning cloth. Now, I've been using these guys for the last 10 years as a photographer. This is what I clean my lenses with it. And they make fantastic eyeglasses um, cleaners. And we all use our safety glasses and they get pretty gross in the shop. So having this makes it really, really easy to clean your glasses. They also make a great Christmas uh, stocking stuffers and they are very easy to use. They come individually wrapped in these little pouches. A box like this will last you for a really, really long time and it takes a few years until they dry up. Uh, many brands make these uh, lens cleaners. The ones that I've been using for the last 10 years are the Nikon and the Zeiss. I don't like the Nikon ones so much just because they are too moist, so they leave a lot of liquid residue. But these guys are fantastic for cleaning your glasses. I've gifted them to all my friends that are um, using, you know, reading glasses or whatever. Even my nephew that he is six years old and he takes these guys with him to school so he can clean his reading glasses. And they come in pre-moisture, moistured uh, little tissues like this. And you can easily clean your safety glasses so you can see what you're doing and not chop your fingers off. So that is the item number one. Number two on the list is this magic sponges. Now you also might know the sponges as the magic eraser. They are meant for cleaning and um, I actually got this tip from one of you guys. One of the subscribers emailed me and told me about the sponges. They make excellent, excellent stain applicators. This uh, big pack over here was very, very cheap and it's full of these sponges. And uh, in the past I've used this uh, double thick stain applicators and I like these ones they work really well but it's pretty expensive for just a small pack like this and then when you cut it into smaller pieces it will leave a little bit of this fuzziness residue on my surface where these sponges they leave completely clean surface and do an excellent excellent job a pack like this it will last you for a really really long time so there you go magic sponges get the big box like this I will leave all these products in the links below if you're interested this is what I'm using from now on for staining. Item number three, you might think it's a little bit weird, but I think it's just as important. And that is good insoles for your shoes. I use these ones. They're made by Superfeet. And it says on them they are for anti-fatigue support for concrete and hard surfaces. Now, most of us work in garages. So you're standing on concrete floors all day long. Your feet get super tired. This is what they look like. I actually had to buy this one just to put it on my uh, boots that I'll be wearing over the winter because it gets cold here in the shop. They look something like this. They have memory foam. They're a little bit squishy, not too squishy. And uh, when you order them, you get them based on your shoe size and they're usually a little bit big. So what I do, I take the insoles from my uh, shoes. I place them on top of this and then I trace them and cut them, you know, part of the toe I cut to make it fit. And I completely recommend this. I absolutely love them and I put them in all my shoes. Now those are the fun items. Let's get to the serious stuff. What is the fourth item that you absolutely need in your shop? The fourth item that you need in your shop is a quick cloth. It looks something like this. They come in gauze uh, form. Um, and cloth form or you can get clotting sponges. Now, now this is not your typical band-aid kind of thing. This is for serious injuries. If you, God forbid, cut your hand off or whatever, or finger off, these guys will help stop the bleeding. There are uh, gauzes and sponges that are packed with clotting powder. So then when you apply this, you put it on your cut and you put pressure on it for three minutes and it will stop the bleeding, at least temporarily until, you know, the ambulance will be able to reach you and help you out. Super, super important to have these guys. Make sure you keep them handy. I'll put links of all of this in the description below. 
keep them handy, uh, not, don't put them in a bin in the top shelf or somewhere when you're like, you know, bleeding to death, you need to go dig for this. Make sure they are accessible, make sure you know where they are and you can easily reach them. As a bonus for number four, I think you also need to have a tourniquet. Tourniquet, also really good to use. You can put it on by yourself, but it's not as easy and intuitive as this, uh, you know, um, clots. And tourniquet, very, very important. Know how to use it, practice a few times. I even train my children. I have two girls, 10 and 13 years old, and they know how to put a tourniquet better than anyone else. We even have every few months like a little competition where they have to compete on which one can put a tourniquet on mom's arm faster and tighter. And I do this um, with them every few months just because they need to do this as a second nature. They need to really know how to do it because in case of something really bad happens and God forbid I'm getting injured really badly, you need to, they need to be able to put this on even when they are upset and they're crying and they're scared and mom is bleeding. So make sure they know how to use it. Your family members, they could save your life with a tourniquet. As the last item, item number five that you absolutely need in your shop, it is a fire extinguisher. I know this one sounds silly and basics, but it is very important. I have two of them. They're always sitting at the entrance of my shop. I know where they are. They're really easy to reach. I have two of them because God forbid one of them, I try to use it and it doesn't work, then I have another one. Also, if there is a fire, I will probably call for help and my husband might be coming running and he has one that, you know, the two of us with two of these guys might be able to put out the fire. So very, very important. Make sure you get some for your shop. Now, I hope this was helpful and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.